Hello, today is Friday, September 5th, 2014. This is the National Weather Service in Grand Junction, Colorado, with a decision support briefing regarding the potential for significant rainfall early next week for eastern Utah and western Colorado. Here are a few highlights of the event. Significant rainfall is possible starting Monday and possibly extending through Wednesday. There is still some uncertainty as to the timing of when the best moisture will arrive and the exact amounts that will be received. There are three key players that will lead to significant rainfall across the area. First, subtropical monsoon moisture will be increasing around the area of high pressure on Monday and Tuesday. A second factor will be moisture from Hurricane Norbert off the Baja Peninsula and Southern California coast which will be entrained in the southwest flow and enhance monsoonal moisture. And lastly, a trough of low pressure along the west coast will move towards the region and help direct this moisture towards the area. Here is a look at the current water vapor satellite imagery as of 6 p.m. Friday, September 5th. You can see Hurricane Norbert just off the southern tip of the Baja Peninsula. Monsoon moisture seems to be concentrated south of the U.S.-Mexican border. This moisture will move northward towards the Great Basin this weekend and into the Four Corners and Western Slope early next week as Hurricane Norbert works its way up the coast towards Southern California. Here is the current forecast track of Hurricane Norbert from the National Hurricane Center as of 5 p.m. Friday, September 5th. While there is still some discrepancy with the forecast models, as to whether Hurricane Norbert will remain off the coast or turn inland towards the San Diego coast, one thing the models agree on is moisture increasing across our area beginning Monday into Tuesday. Hurricane Norbert is expected to weaken to a tropical depression by Monday morning as it moves further northward along the coast of the Baja Peninsula towards Southern California. Here is the GFS forecast model as of 6 p.m. Monday, September 8th. High pressure is situated over Texas with Hurricane Norbert just off the Baja Southern California coastline. A low pressure trough along the west coast will also be working its way eastward. This will allow the moisture from the subtropical monsoon and Hurricane Norbert to surge across the Great Basin into eastern Utah and western Colorado beginning Monday, September 8th and continuing through Tuesday leading to the potential for heavy rainfall. Drier air is expected to move in on the back side of the trough by Wednesday afternoon. There is still some uncertainty and discrepancy with the forecast models in terms of the timing of these features, but the models all seem to agree, agree that moisture will increase on Monday and Tuesday with the best potential for significant rainfall. The following is an image of the amount of precipitable water as of 6 p.m. Monday, September 8th. Precipitable water is the amount of rain that would fall if all the moisture in the atmosphere fell as rain. Amounts are at least an inch or greater across much of eastern Utah and western Colorado with the highest amounts near 1.5 inches near the four corners. This is very significant for this time of year and basically means the potential exists for heavy rain and possible flash flooding. The Weather Prediction Center is showing forecast amounts of an inch or greater for much of the area as well based on the five-day forecast shown on the right. The majority of this forecasted rainfall looks to occur during the Monday through Wednesday morning time frame. So to summarize the key points, significant rainfall is possible Monday through Wednesday. The timing of the best moisture is dependent on the track of Hurricane Norbert and the passage of the west coast trough of low pressure. There is still some uncertainty on the timing, rainfall amounts, and exact areas of impact. However, we can still expect heavy rain, small hail, and gusty winds with any thunderstorms that form. There is also potential for flash flooding. This concludes our decision support briefing for the significant rainfall event possible early next week. Check for the latest forecast as the event gets closer for a better idea on exact areas of impact at www.weather.gov gjt. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter and send any reports or ask questions there. Thank you for watching.